the concrete's supposed to be on its way, folks. Three o'clock today said be here, and it's about two o'clock now. We had beautiful sunny skies, and they were not calling for rain today. Now, the sky over there looks like this. It's starting to cloud up a little bit. But this is what it's looking like over there. Not the greatest, but, but the clouds are traveling that way. So that's a good thing, I think. Hopefully it's drifting away. Anyways, this is what we got. Heather and I just did this, so you've seen it. I dug out a divot in the center here, about eight inches deep. So as the concrete goes in, it'll just push that plastic down. It's about eight inches deep. Now we pour concrete, we'll just lift this, this mesh up with the rake as we go, once we uh, get it so far. That's all we're gonna do. Anyways, that's how it's looking. Six mil, I think this vapor barrier is, six millimeter. We put our braces in the sides. I just cut them to a point with a chainsaw and hammer them down in there so they shouldn't go anywhere. Other than that, we're ready to pour concrete. We went and got another rake. We only had one old one. That was a few years old anyways. Handle's getting bad in it. I had to replace it. But we went and bought that one. So we have another one. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the concrete truck can drive over there and back right in. So that will be a bonus. We don't need to sling it too far, I hope. I think a shoot, shoot should reach fairly far. I believe we're gonna find that out. And it is hot out here, folks. It's another hot day. It never fails, eh? When you're gonna pour concrete, it either rains, either threatens the rain, or gets super hot. Or both. At least the rain cools you down, but then... We were gonna rent a floor polisher, but man, it's $150 for a floor polisher for the day. I'd had to borrow a truck to go get it, so it's not happening. I'm just going to try to uh, trowel it myself. Uh, they are bringing out a, a bowl float I can borrow. That's nice of them. We're getting the concrete from Peterson Concrete. Peterson, Peterson, however you want to say it. They're lending us a bowl float, so that's really nice of them. They're bringing it out with the truck and no charge extra. So, uh, and to do this, to do this section isn't really that much, much uh, money. So I'm. Uh, Pretty happy with that. Now the floor is only gonna be three inches, but that's fine. Like I say, Heather and I are not heavy people. We're not gonna bust through this three inches because this is pretty hard under here. Yeah. Oh, I just caught myself on this. Messed this up already. What do you think of that? Well, it's gonna get worse before the concrete's done. I'm sure of it. Anyway, that's how she's looking. I'm gonna get out of here before I yank them all up and we have to get our boots on. Anyways, that's where we are. So. Once the concrete gets poured in there, I'm just going to take a rake and, and lift that mesh up. I'm sure hoping he can reach all the way to the back there with his with his chute. If he can, that would be so much easier. And, uh, yeah. Like we plan on putting some kind of ceramic tile in the basement anyways on the floor. We do want it somewhat smooth, but you know what? It doesn't have to be super smooth because if we come in here in the winter with an arm full of wood and if it's too slippery with a bit of snow on our feet, guess where we'd be going? Right on our keisters. So, anyways, I have to get a good smooth 2x4 to uh, screed that, so I'll get that. We're going to record this too. <laughs> 